According to the Times newspaper, he rang a 78-year-old woman who worked for him in the middle of the night, demanding £5,000 as a matter, she says, he said, of life and death. She says she couldn't help him. It was 3.15 in the morning. He rang another woman, apparently, who cashed in her personal ISA to help him pay off, in his words, she says, bad people. The chief whip, apparently, was made aware of all of this. She was reimbursed from money given by party donors. Anything that the police should be investigating there? Well, look, as, OK, as I said, I just don't know the answer for you. All I know is that some further information has come to light, that the chief whip and uh, the MP in question have spoken, that he denies the allegations, but nonetheless, there's clearly something to be investigated here, and so it's correct and appropriate that in the meantime, the whip is removed uh, in order that that can take place. But uh, I know that you want to keep pushing on this. I, I, and you know, I, will, I can't really Mr. bring Shaps, any further I will. Light. I will continue to push on this. Why didn't the Conservative Party do more earlier, Mr. Shapps? Well, my, my, my understanding was that uh, there was there were already uh, there was already something underway that CCHQ, uh, the HQ already had that underway. But the new information has come to light, perhaps through that newspaper. I'm not sure where from. I'm not privy to the. Details so it takes the Times, Secretary. it takes the newspaper then to actually bring this investigation to some kind of conclusion. That's well, the reality, often, isn't it? Uh, in a, in a, you know, quite often it is a, a journalist who uh, unpublished a wrongdoing. It seems to have been what's happened in the case of Angela Rayner as well with the um, but, the home. All right, uh, OK, I hear that. Well. But, but, quite but, often but, journalists but, are, the, are the answer to that. But lastly on this, with the allegation, the allegation concerning the use of funds, why wasn't that reported to police immediately? Well, look, as I said, I'm afraid I... Well, I put it to you, the attempt, not you personally, that was an attempt yeah, at a cover-up, Mr Shapps. Is there a problem with candidate selection in the Conservative Party? I think you're up to seven MPs that have now had the whip suspended from them. I was just looking at allegations. An MP who sends naked photos, another suspended for inappropriate behaviour to staff, two for breaking lobbying rules, one for groping, one for looking at tractor pornography. What's happening to the sorts of people well, I, who become would, Conservative MPs? I would say, I mean, not just, uh, you know, I think it's something across all political parties and actually all walks of life, I mean, you know, in many different areas that... You I, know, can, sometimes... I can truthfully say I have never come across anybody who looks at tractor porn. When you look at all the polling, when you look at the fact there's been another scandal with Mark Menzies losing and having to lose the party whip and all that going on uh, over the last day or so... How do you even begin to deal with that? Because it, everybody expects now, everyone with any political nouns, nous is expecting there to be a Labour government whenever that election is called. How do you even put forward an argument to try to counter that? No, first of all, as, uh, uh, yeah, I get on my job as Defence Secretary, defending the realm, making sure this country is safe. You're right, the politics all continues as well. I, I'd say this. I think most people recognise that we have been through extraordinary difficult times. Apparently, the chief whip was told about this in January. Uh, the whip has only been it's suggested um, that he step back, the whip removed, in other words, uh, when this story broke in the Times newspaper. What would you say to the good people of Filed this morning? I'd say there's a process in place. He has had the whip withdrawn. Some further information that the Chief Whip Einstein became familiar with yesterday uh, and actions being swiftly taken on the basis of that further information. I think it is important to stress that the MP in question here denies the allegations. Um, so in the, in the, uh, on the basis of sort of uh, fairness and, and proper justice, I think it's uh, put to mention that, but I'm not privy to any of these details. So I'm, uh, you're asking me, I'm very, I, I thought I was coming on to talk about uh, the situation yeah, in we'll Iran. How concerned are you that the Lords again voted to make more changes to the Rwanda bill to stop possibly people who have in evil intent in their heart towards the United Kingdom? What's your message to the people who have sent this uh, bill back yet again? Well, this is not sort of just the Lords. This is Labour in the Lords. This is Keir Starmer ordering his Lords not to support the Rwanda bill. He doesn't want it to go through. Labour have no alternative at all. They snipe from the sidelines whilst deliberately voting against the one thing which could help bring to an end this evil trade of misery in people's lives being trafficked, human trafficked 
across our own English Channel. It's Keir Starmer. Do, 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 Absolutely no do, answer to this problem. It's not the Lords, it's Labour. Lord Houghton, former Chief of the Defence Staff, brackets, not Labour. Lord Richards, former De- Chief of the Defence Staff, brackets, not Labour. Lord Dannett, former Chief of the General Staff, brackets, not Labour. Lord Sedwell, former National Security Guard. Well, I won't give the brackets anymore, shall I? All these people, leaders of our armed forces, Admiral Lord West as well, are saying, you've got it wrong, you should change your mind. Look, I understand there are lots of people, including crossbenchers that you've mentioned, who disagree with the policy. That's what a democracy is. Point is, tell me what the alternative is. Tell me what Keir Starmer and the Labour Party intend to do about it. Answer is, they don't have an answer. And using their block of votes in the House of Lords, they have once again voted against the Rwanda legislation. Because I actually, you start to wonder whether they're actually concerned about letting it pass. Because uh, they themselves... Uh, See, it seems to see this illegal trade continue. The whip was removed from Scott Benson over a lobbying scandal. Uh, Peter Bone, again, a former Conservative MP for sexual bullying. Neil Parrish for viewing porn, or was it tractors, in the Chamber of the House of Commons. Chris Pincher allegedly molesting men at the Carlton Club. Eight independent MPs, former Tories. What is that saying about your party and the state of British politics this morning? Well, look, I, I, I understand what you're you know, driving at here. Uh, as I, said, I thought I was coming on to talk about two wars in the world, uh, and you're pressing me about uh, some issues which I'm not particularly close I don't, to. Do you, think it's, uh, do you think it's funny, Mr Shapps? I don't think it's funny. No-one said it was funny, Kay. The general public think defence is better left in hands of the Labour Party than the Conservative Party. Now, that is quite something. You are normally the party trusted on defence. What is going wrong? I think that's in the context of the wider polling. I, I saw that poll, which also says, of course, that 45% of people don't want to see Starmer as prime minister. So you can you can take it any way you like. Um, as I say, I thought the point of this discussion was to, to, to discuss a couple of very serious conflicts in the world, uh, which I think are going to be far more world shaping, particularly what happens in Ukraine with Putin uh, and what's happening in the Middle East uh, than I think any particular individual MP. Yeah, I suppose that 78-year-old lady that was woken up in the middle of the night allegedly de- with somebody demanding £5,000 a matter of life and death, her Conservative MP, her boss, she may uh, also be thinking about that this morning.